Hi and welcome back to TechNut. Today we have another requested video for you. This time we're covering VPN setup. Since we're installing our VPN solution on a brand new machine, we're going to go ahead and go into Add Roles and Features and install the Remote Access role. Select row for the list. Go ahead and continue. Now I can add any features. Just gonna click next. And we're gonna select the direct access and VPN role service. I'm gonna add the required features. As you can see, IIS will be installed, but we're gonna leave everything at default. Now it's time to click install. Once the installation is completed, we're gonna click the link to start the setup guide. In the wizard, we select Deploy VPN Only. And we get into the Routing and Remote Access Control Panel. We can now close the installation. We're going to right click the server and select Configure and Enable Routing and Remote Access. Gonna click Next. And we're going to select a custom configuration. We're going to click Next and specify that this is for VPN access. We click next again and we'll finish the wizard. As you can see, we get a warning saying that the ports in the firewall could not be opened automatically, so we're gonna take care of that in a little while. I'm gonna click start service and wait for the service to start. Now it's time to open the ports in the Windows firewall. I'm gonna return to the server manager. I'm gonna go ahead and open tools and select the Windows Firewall with advanced security. We're going to right click Inbound Rules, select New Rule, a predefined, and we'll specify Routing and Remote Access. We'll allow PPTP and GRE. And if we scroll to the top, we'll see our newly created rules. The same rules will have to be applied to your router. The GRE rule is a specific protocol and is sometimes called PPTP VPN pass-through. We'll close down the firewall and open up our Active Directory. We'll have to grant users access to the VPN. To do this, open up the properties of a user, go to the tab Dial In, and allow remote access. Save the settings, and close down the windows. The VPN server is now ready to be connected to. I'm now connected to my laptop using TeamViewer. As you can see, my laptop is connected to my iPhone. We have internet access, you can browse our YouTube page, However, if we try to ping something on my internal network, we're going to go ahead and ping my Active Directory server. And we're going to specify dash "-t", to keep doing this. As you can see, it times out. So what we'll do is we'll go in to Network Settings, VPN, and add a new VPN connection. We're going to specify our VPN provider, which is Windows. The connection name, we'll just call it TechNut VPN. And I'm just gonna copy in my IP address. We'll select the VPN connection, click connect. We get a password prompt. I'm gonna sign it with my domain user account. Click OK. This takes a little while as my iPhone connection isn't all that good. As you can see, at this time, the TeamViewer session hangs, but when it comes back, you can see that we are actually connected, and we get a ping response. So we're going to try to remote connect to our remote access server. As you can see, we're able to connect. 
we choose another account and sign in with the domain administrator account. Shouldn't be any problems connecting. Gonna accept the certificate. And we're in. And that's all there is to it. You now have a VPN solution up and running and should be able to access your home network from wherever you are. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you have suggestions for other tutorials, please let us know. Also, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.